I, I think really this happened over the course of maybe about 12 hours. Josh uh, went to work yesterday in Foxborough with every intention of cleaning out his office and making staff hires um, for Indianapolis. And over the course of the day, at different parts of the day, he met with Bill Belichick, he met with Robert Kraft, he met with Jonathan Kraft, and really as much as anything else, um, I think he was able to come into some new information um, that wasn't available to him over the last three or four weeks. And he really felt personal affection from the Kraft family. Now, there's nothing written about him becoming the next head coach, but I think you'd be naive to believe that that wasn't discussed. Um, because he has to know now that it's going to be difficult for him to get a head coaching job anywhere else. And so this is an absolute stunner. Look, you know, I think you have to feel bad for the Colts organization. You especially have to feel bad for all those assistant coaches who are left behind here. I know Josh feels bad about all of that, but ultimately I think that this came down to the Patriots being able to make a personal appeal to Josh McDaniels. Um, and Josh McDaniels being able to maintain professional stability in a very, very unstable business. You referenced new information and alluded to him possibly becoming the new head coach. Do you think it was communicated to him directly that Belichick would be stepping down sooner rather than later? Okay, I can tell you two things on that. One, there's not any written agreement. I don't think that legal, league rules allow for a written agreement. Um, but I do know that there's no written agreement in place that says he'll be the coach after Bill Belichick retires. Number two, I know he wasn't given a firm timetable. That said, there's been a feeling in the Patriots organization that um, that Bill could be gone after 2018. Bill could be gone after 2019. And so I think, you know, Josh knows that the end is on the horizon. Um, it's also my understanding that he will be getting a new deal out of this. And so... Um, there are several pieces in place here that I, I think, you know, in Josh's mind, created stability. I think you can certainly infer um, that Josh knows that he'd be the lead candidate whenever Bill steps down for staying with the organization. And certainly, I think for the, from the organization standpoint, you can go back and you look, can look at Robert Kraft's history and you go look at the, the very beginning of his time as owner. Um, and one of the reasons why the divorce with Bill Parcells happened in 1997 was because Parcells had become such a year-to-year -year proposition. And, you know, I think for Robert Kraft, that, that just wasn't, you know, a, that, that wasn't a position he was comfortable being in um, and, and wasn't a position that he'd been comfortable running any of his businesses in with anything being year-to-year. -year. And seeing that Bill O'Brien signed the extension down in Houston, knowing that Matt Patricia was already on his way out the door to Detroit, I think it became pretty clear to the Crafts that there was no logical successor out there for them. And so if they could keep someone on staff who could potentially be the successor, that would create some more stability for the franchise long term. And so now you look at it and you can say, OK, well, Robert Kraft's well into his 70s and Bill Belichick's going to be 66 and Tom Brady's going to be 44. But, you know, now you can look at it. You can say Jonathan Kraft's 53, Nick Casario's 42. Josh McDaniels is 41, and at the very least, that gives them a potential nucleus uh, for the franchise after Bill Belichick and Tom Brady are gone.